Welcome to the Michael Cooley podcast on rethinking leadership. In these episodes, we will look at leadership with a fresh perspective and take your leadership effectiveness to the next level. For more information, go to cooleyinstitute.com and follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media. The quality of your life largely depends on the quality of your relationships. How so? Imagine the quality of your life if the quality of your relationship were bad, if you had tension with your family members, with your children, with your siblings, with your partner, with your spouse, with your parents. Imagine if you had bad relationships with your neighbors or community. Or if you had you know, a stressful relationship at work with your colleagues or subordinates or your boss, imagine the impact of all of that on your life. You'll have anxiety, you'll have stress, possibly you'll have even psychosomatic uh, illnesses and diseases because emotions are related to the way your body functions and the healthiness of your body. Now imagine the opposite. Try to visualize the quality of your life if your relationships were great within your family within your organization within your you know area of work within your community or your neighborhood how that will translate into happiness so quality of life is largely dependent on the quality of your relationships now how do you make your relationships stronger how do you build deeper and healthier relationships Of course, this is a complicated subject and it's a long one, but it's very exciting. I'm going to talk about just one element and that's the element of trust. One of the best ways to develop deep and healthy relationships, relationships that are truly fruitful, is to build a higher level of trust. Because you can't have a good relationship without trust. I mean, imagine if you don't trust somebody would you stand next to them compared to people whom you trust if you have if there's an animal and you don't trust this animal would you stand close to this animal or would you keep a distance so the higher the level of trust the higher the the, the more the closeness the more the intimacy the more the, the there's depth in the relationships and what builds trust trust is built by being trustworthy So when you are trustworthy, people give you trust. When other people are trustworthy, you give them trust. And how do you do that? By being truthful. If you look at the word trust and look at the word truth, you see that they're largely the same. So the best way to build trust is to be truthful, is to be honest and authentic and have integrity. That's why Trust is so important in relationships. And the core of trust, apart from you know truth and the other virtues, is really predictability. So I trust you means that I can safely predict your actions, your behavior. So when your future behavior always falls in line with my expectations, then I have trust in you. And the same goes the other way around. When you can safely predict the nature of my behavior, my words, my actions, and you can safely predict that as per your expectations, then you will have higher trust in me. Because I become predictable. I become safe. You become safe because I can easily imagine what you will do. And that gives me a feeling of safety and security and that's why I bring you closer to me. So if you want good relationships, deep relationships, invest in building trust. And to build trust you have to be trustworthy and to be trustworthy you have to build your life and the entire dynamics of the relationship on truth. And that's how your life improves. Thank you for listening to the Michael Cooley podcast. 
please visit cooleyinstitute.com and send us an email. We would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this episode. And remember to follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media.